welcome back to my channel now in today's video i'm going to be talking about weird facts that you probably didn't know about me so when i entered youtube i didn't really say a lot about myself but now that i'm more open to youtube i'm not going to say everything because you know private stuff but um yeah i just thought that maybe i should talk about myself a bit so anyways yeah let's just get right into it one weird thing that most people find weird about me that i actually really love about myself is that my ears are different one of my ears looks like one of my dad's ears and the other one looks like my mom's ear and if you look at them you can kind of tell that they're different and like i found that out because i was going kind of going like this because something was loud and i kind of felt and i thought one of them feels smaller and then when i kind of noticed that i looked at my i looked at my parents ears and i found out that one of them looks like my dad's ears and it looks like my mom and i honestly really love that feature about me because it's like because I've seen people having like different thumbs, like one thumb looks like their mom's and one looks like their dad, but mine, mine are my ears. And yeah, I just think it's really something fun about me. <laughs> I actually have double jointed elbows. If you can kind of see actually <laughs> here, you guys can probably, the lighting looks weird because of my black top, but yep, I got double jointed elbows. Even though I dyed my hair quite a bit fun and funky colors, my natural hair color is blonde. It, I don't dye it. You might notice that it's a little bit lighter on the ends because I bleached it one time because like I wanted the color to last longer, like, um, a, like a purple color. But my natural hair color is blonde. Even though you can kind of tell the bottom is kind of darkening up a bit, my natural hair color is blonde. I am a huge animal lover, but my personal favorites is I've always like loved dolphins. Like I've loved dolphins my whole entire life. I actually have a, when my family one time went to SeaWorld with me and my brother Sandy in San Diego, and I didn't realize, but they had a dolphin thing there where you could pet the dolphins. And I'm telling you, I actually have a photo of it. I was literally so excited. And my favorite memory when I was there was there was like this huge glass tank below the tank of dolphins. And I was kind of sitting there looking inside, I had my hand there and a dolphin literally came up to me and had its beak like where I put my hand. I was literally like, like shaking. I was so excited. Here's an actual photo of the thing. See that little girl right there, that's, that's me. And that's a dolphin. <laughs> but even though I'm a huge animal lover, my other favorite animals are bunnies and sea bunnies. I actually, I st just started getting into sea bunnies. I think they're adorable. And probably other, just any other sea slug. When I was little, my absolute favorite food ever was french fries. I could literally just like eat french fries and just be happy the rest of my life. And I was actually very, very picky when I was little. I remember I hated any sort of sauces, still do. Like, kill me if you want in the comments. I hate ketchup. I hate ketchup. I just hate it all together. But when I was little, I hated sauce. So, but I loved pizza. But like, I would, my grandma and my family would literally have to order a cheese pizza, but without the sauce in it. But now I'm addicted to pizza with sauce on it, like a normal person, not a freak. But I'm telling you, I was the pickiest little thing when I was little. Still kind of picky, but I can eat tons of food and I just love food. And now I just live off of chicken nuggies and french fries now. Still love french fries though, still one of my favorite foods. My favorite foods now, I love pasta, but with garlic and cilantro in it, it's like delicious. I love, again, French fries. I love pretty much just any fast food. I could, except Taco Bell. I hate Taco Bell. I hate Taco Bell, but I love beating cheese and rice burritos from like the food trucks. Those are immaculate. I love, mm, I'm like a sweet person, but I hate eating too much of sweets. Um, I don't know. I just like a lot of just like good delicious food. Um, I honestly eat, don't really eat that healthy, but I'm not guilty about it because I don't care. But I also like fruits. I'm a huge fruit person. I can also eat healthy stuff. I'm not very picky when it comes to healthy stuff. I can eat broccoli, spinach, just stuff like that. <laughs> I am addicted to any sort of squishies. This is my newest squishy. I got it from Amazon. It's the cutest little thing. It already got a little damaged, but you know what? I still love it anyway. I don't know why squishy smells so good. <laughs> Here's just my squishy collection. I have a bunch. There's just these tiny foam squishies that I absolutely adore. I don't know why. Um, I also just have this little wrapped one that's a little cute little alligator. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm just a sucker for any small adorable squishies. I just want to get my hands on them, especially if they're like adorable food themed, like a bread. Um, back to that question, back to that other fact, I absolutely love bread. I love bread. 
Just like Lauren Z said, I love bread. My One of my favorites is this little Hello Kitty one. I think I might attach this to my backpack, but yeah. Oh, I also really like this one, even though it's looking kind of rough. It's I got this one and another one from Missouri, actually, when I went to Missouri. But yeah, <laughs> I have three dogs. Yes, let me introduce them to you. This is Brody, he's the oldest. This is Max, he's the middle child. And this is Coco, she's the youngest. She's my favorite. Kind of confidential, but I actually don't drink coffee. <laughs> Like all of my friends drink coffee whenever they do. I'm just like, how do you drink that? I hate coffee, honestly. Like, eh, I don't like it. <laughs> when I am an adult, I actually really, really want to get two dogs. I really, really want to get an Australian Shepherd. I'm a sucker for any Australian Shepherd stuff. Like I remember I went to the beach with my grandma this past weekend and like we were walking on the beach and there was like so many people bring their dogs and there's so many Australian Shepherds. I saw like five Australian Shepherds. And every single time I saw one, I was just like, ah, because <laughs> I love Australian Shepherds. I also really want to get a Corgi. You probably can't tell this by just watching the video, but I'm actually extremely short. <laughs> yes, I'm a little short potato. Yes, I'm very short for my height. I am probably like a foot shorter than, than everyone else my age, but I don't really care. I like being short. It's fun. It's what makes me different. <laughs> Surprisingly, some of you might not believe this, but I'm actually a Gemini. Um, my birthday's in June. I've I'm a Gemini. One strange thing about me being a YouTuber that like I don't think like some people know is that mostly like of course no disrespect to any YouTubers like a lot of YouTubers say like I'm so confident on the camera but in real life I'm shy you know that's completely fine I get some people are shy but not me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm exactly like this in real life. Like my friends who are watching this are gonna be like, yeah, she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely like, just like, a, definitely just like a weird person. I'm just very like out there and bubbly and social. I'm a little social butterfly. Not being conceited, it's just who I am as a person. I cannot imagine myself being like, like just like a shy person. Like I believe you should put yourself out there and just like have fun and enjoy being who you are. Like don't care what people think. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> I actually really, really want to be a paranormal investigator influencer. So get excited for that if you're subscribed. <laughs> if you're not already, make sure you subscribe for more paranormal stuff. Definitely not now because I'm, I, even though I know a lot about paranormal investigating, you have to know a lot to be safe when you're doing it. So yeah. Yeah, so I just, just try to be as safe as possible when you're doing paranormal investigating. You just gotta take lots of precautionary measures, know what you're doing, have the right equipment, get a hold of the right people. Excited for that. <laughs> On that note of paranormal investigating, I've actually had quite a few paranormal experiences other than my attachment that I had. Um, um, but like, um, I've actually had more paranormal experiences. I'm actually saving those stories for um, Halloween time because you know, spooky season and I don't have like a ton, a ton of spooky story, like spooky, like paranormal experiences. So I'm saving those for Halloween. So sorry if you wanted to hear them <laughs> in this video, but get ready, get excited for Halloween because that's when I'm going to tell them. Anyways, that's just a little bit about me. If you like this video and you want to know more about me, maybe a part two, let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, guys, I love you so much. And if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button and maybe subscribe because you subscribe. It tells me you like my channel and I do more. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>